Hi there and welcome to the special edition of In The Labs with me, Becky. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how I created this star-shaped candy dish. Now it's a real quick project to machine on your CNC. It's just got four toolpaths. So let's have a look at how we did that in the software. I've created this file in VCarve Pro. However, this can be opened in both VCarve Desktop and Aspire. So once you've downloaded the project folder, uh, you want to open the starlightcandydish.crv file. Okay, so here's an important note. This is just warning you that you should always check and recalculate uh, your toolpaths, uh, making sure that they're safe and appropriate for your material, the CNC machine that you are using and the tools that you are using. So we're just going to OK that. Right then, so let's first take a look at our job dimensions. So I'm working with a job size of 13 by 13 inches. I'm actually working with worktop surface material. And so that has quite a uh, nice depth there of 1.617, which is going to be perfect as we're wanting to create a dish for our candy to sit inside. In terms of the vectors, uh, we have three simple sets of vectors. We've got a star, so I drew this using the star tool. I just simply drew out until I was happy with the size that we've got there. And then to create the star inside, I just took this vector here, used the offset tool where I've set that inwards by half an inch, ensuring that we have create sharp offset corners switched on to create this sharp internal and external corners of the star. Okay, so that's how we created those two vectors. Next, the text. So here I use this tool here, the draw text tool. If we open that up, we can see uh, some of the details there. So I entered the text, starlight shine bright, just like the song. You can change this if you want to by just entering your own text. The font that I used was Brush Script MT. Uh, and then again, you can change the font and the height of the text to whatever is appropriate for you. So close out there and that's pretty much it. So at this stage, I then went over to the toolpaths tab. So here you can see I've already created the toolpath. So I'll walk you through each one um, and talk about um, the settings that I used. So to start with, uh, let's take a look at the material setup. So here I'm using the lower left hand corner for our X0, Y0 position. For the Z0, I'm doing that off the material surface. Right then, so first off, I used a pocket toolpath, which is this icon here. And what I created was a pocket toolpath where we're cutting down one inch. So I've put one inch in there. We're using this vector, so we're clearing everything inside of this vector here. And I'm using two tools to cut this out. So first off, I'm going to use a larger tool. Uh, so I'm going to check this option here. And here I'm going to use a half inch end mill just to clear the majority of the inside of that vector there. And once that has been machined away, we're going to go in for a tool change where I'm going to change that down to a smaller tool so we can get in at those corners on each point of the star. And the tool I'm using for that is 0.233 inch end mill. We're doing this in an offset strategy so it will start in the centre and work its way out. Uh, the name is just pocket and if we close out we can take a look at the preview. So first off we're using the half inch end mill to clear this out. So if I just slow this down a little, starting in the centre, if we just speed that up. It's going to cut down till it gets to one inch. Okay, and you can see if I hover over, you can see at the bottom there, we've got a Z display of one inch there. Uh, and you'll see that uh, we haven't managed to get in at those corners, especially using the size of the tool that we're using, which is why we're going to cut this out in two parts. So we're using a smaller tool that's 0.233 inch end mill. And if I just switch the visibility there, you can see that it's just only getting to the areas that haven't been cut away, which uh, makes this quite efficient. So you can see it's just getting in at the corners there and it's just getting to the out 
line of the star so if we go ahead and preview that i'll just slow that down see it's just getting in at the corners like so until it reaches that one inch depth okay so that's uh, is the pocket toolpaths complete uh, then we have some text that we want to v-carve into our dish so here i use a v-carve toolpath which is this toolpath here so if I just double click onto the toolpath that I've already created, you can see that we're using this text here. We're setting a start depth of one inch because we've already machined away uh, down one inch. So we're gonna start at one inch using a 60 degree V-bit tool. And if we close out, we could go ahead and preview what that looks like. And that's how that will cut. Okay, so I like what we've got there. And then finally, we're going to cut this out using a profile toolpath, which is this toolpath here. Again, I've already created this. So let's double click on that to see the settings. So the cut depth, we're cutting all the way through the material using a 0.233 inch end mill. Machining on the outside of that outer vector. Uh, we're going to add tabs to that toolpath, so the yellow squares with the T on represent our tabs. I've got a tab length of 0.35 and a thickness of a quarter of an inch. Calculate that, preview it. We can see the tabs are holding our star dish in place and that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm happy with the preview there, so at this stage we can close out, go ahead, save those toolpaths and then we'll move over to the labs. So here is the first of four toolpaths and this is the clearance part of our pocket toolpath. And so here we are using a half inch end mill to clear away the majority of that star shaped pocket. With that all clear, it's time to change the tool. We're going to use that smaller tool to run the second part of our pocket toolpath. And that smaller tool will just get in at all the corners where that larger tool couldn't. And then we have the V bit here running that V carve toolpath uh, to carve the text inside of our dish. So now moving on to the final toolpath and here we're just running a profile pass to cut this out. So the dish was held in using tabs so now we're just going to remove them using a saw. And to completely remove the tabs as well as clear up the dish in general, I'm going to use a variety of sanding equipment just to really give this a nice smooth finish. One other thing that I did was I actually sanded off each point of the star. They're a little too sharp, uh, so I wanted to just cut that back a little. So in hindsight, what I should have done was actually rounded the points uh, of the vectors in the software just to save the time on doing this.
And so to make this food safe, as well as just to really give it a good finish, to bring out the grain, uh, what I did was I applied a mineral oil uh, to the entire surface of the dish within the VCAF text. I've rubbed it in using a rag uh, into the dish and on the outside. Okay, and so here is the finished candy dish. Now, if you fancy having a go at creating your own version of this project, then simply head over to your B&Co account where you can download the project files from there. And if you do end up creating your own version, then please share that with us, either on the Vetric forum or across one of our social media channels. We love to see what you're making. And if you like this video, then give us a thumbs up. And if you've not yet subscribed to our channel, then please hit the subscribe button for the instant updates on the latest videos we'll be releasing so thank you for watching and happy making